Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Um, we are pleased to be joined by uh, Justin Odoms. How's it going? I'm doing good, Casey. How are you doing? Doing well. Um, so, of course, uh, obviously, uh, you know, of of Heartland Boys basketball, but I know you didn't get a chance to see him this year because obviously, uh, you know, obviously right before the season started, you got, you got hurt. So, um, obviously, it was tough not to play this year, but overall, I know basketball is not over for you just yet. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, it was, it was tough, um, you know, not being able to play this year, but, um, I believe that everything happens for a reason. So yeah. I did what I could with the guys. Um, I tried to show as much support as possible there. Uh, obviously not being able to, um, go to a lot of things cause I had to, you know, rehab my leg and it was mixing times with some of the practices, but I went to some of the games that, uh, that I was able to make and to go show support, but, um, yeah, I'm excited to, you know, keep on playing basketball. I got a great opportunity to go play at Cleary. So excited for that. So you're going to go and you're not going that far away. Um, so what's that going to be like to yeah. not go far from, from where you are? Are you going to live on campus or anything, or are you just going to So actually, um, I mean, I'm going to be living at home because I, I live right there in Howell, only a few minutes away from campus. So yeah. it's honestly, it's a better thing for me. You know, I get to save money, not have to live on campus. So being being close is is really going to help me. Yeah. So kind of talk about like why you wanted to, you know, kind of stay in this area because you're not too far away, you're not too far away from home. Um what made what made Clear just fit and like other programs this is year I mean year 1. Uh yeah, um, part of the first team. You know, I honestly, you know when I first um went to Clary um I was in contact with the coach over the summer and I honestly just fell in love with him um, off the first time I met him. So I put a lot of trust into him. Um, he's a very good guy. You know, I've seen some of the, um, some of the other kids who also like committed early on. So, you know, I, I think um, even though being a first um, year team here, I, I think we're that clearly we're going to bring a lot. And um, I think we're going to shock a lot of people because it is our first year. And I think we will be up there playing with the teams that have been in the league for a while. So. So also talk about like, you know, just to you go through high school and get that all done. And, you know, obviously graduations tomorrow. What's that, you know, what's that going to be like is like the final thing that you have to do. You know, I'm, I'm just excited to, um, to uh, get it over with because our graduation here has been, it's, it, we've already been out of, been out of school here for a couple of weeks. So as much as I enjoyed uh, Harlan high school, I had a great experience. Um, I'm ready to, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to get to the next level. Um, probably because, you know, I've, I've been waiting so long here out with this injury, you know, I'm ready, I'm ready to get things rolling and uh, get a new environment and, you know, new school and get going, working on that. So what has recovery been like? Uh, you know, it's difficult, but um, I feel like it, it wasn't nothing that I couldn't handle. You know, a lot of it is just a mental battle. That, that That's the hardest part is, mm -hmm. um, you know, sitting out watching people just wishing you're out on the court but um other than that it's I mean working towards it yeah it's been difficult you know doing all the workouts and stuff but mainly it's been a mental battle for me and you know you get those thoughts of are you going to be the same when you get back or how's it going to be like you know in a couple months but um you know I just put everything into God's hands and um I think I'm where I'm supposed to be now and that everything happens for a reason like I said earlier and um, other than the mental battles, um, I, I've been, I, I think it's been all right. It's been all right. All right. Recovery. Yeah. Um, going into, you know, going into college, what, what, what do you know what you're going to expect playing college basketball? What, what do you think, uh, what do you think it's going to be like? Um, you know, I'm not really sure where it's going to be, but whatever coach wants me to do, um, I know in the it's in the air right now of what my role is going to be on the team, you know, coming off an injury, you know, it, it takes a while. So um, I'm not sure what to expect as of right now. I know there's a lot of things in the air, you know, a new team. Um, but all I know is I'm pretty – that I'm very confident that um, we're going to bring a lot of energy and I think we're going to be one of the top teams in the league with some of the talent, some of the guys I've seen. Um, I'm excited to get going with that. So, Yeah. Um, and then just overall, like, you know, coming into these games and what, what's the summer basically going to be like for you before you head to college? 
you know, summer is just right now um, rehabbing, working on my leg. Um, not much um, other to do than that. Obviously, um, you know, I've been going to the gym. I've been making sure I keep my upper body strong, making sure I'm still doing my lower leg workouts, um, even though my physical therapy ended there like a month ago. But, you know, I'm still keeping it going. I've been uh, in, in the gym, still shooting. Um, I'm running now, so I'm doing full court drills, you know, keeping my endurance up. So my main focus this summer is, you know, just to try to keep in shape and, and prepare myself as much as possible for the next level. Yeah. All right. Well, Justin, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. And uh, the best of luck at Cleary. We're going to definitely have you on again sometime. Thank you. I really appreciate you for having me on.